All right, so the question was, or the assignment was, show how you and your partner can share a dollar twenty equally. So I'm gonna call you guys to share up on the white on the um, Elmo, and you'll get to share how you came up with your answer. By the way, what was the answer? Sixty cents. Sixty cents. I saw that you guys all got the right answer, but you all did it a different way. So we're gonna share how you guys um, each did it differently, but still came up with the same answer. All right, we'll start with this table. Who's sharing here? What did you do, Jaden? What did your group do? Um, my group um, divided, we started with 12 because we, so we just took out the zero and divided 12 by two and that equaled six. And okay. then we added the zero and we got 60. And then we um, wrote two quarters of and that equals 50, and a dime equals 10. So we put 60 cents because the question asked, how can you split $1.20 with a partner? So okay. So you did, you came up with the answer that you're going to have 60 cents each, and then you explained how that would work in coins. My group and I were... were we worked with dimes, and we did it like if we were having two people, as in like partners doing 10, and they get 10 each until they get up to an equal amount. Okay, so show us how that worked, like if you were dividing them. So you did 10. Like 10, and then 10, like 10, 10, wait, 10, 10. So if you, how did you know that this was enough? Because it, it, all, it all together is is it is 12 okay and so how much did each partner end up getting <coughs> 60 cents so let's let's count through those real quick okay so you have so basically you're saying 10 20 right you guys following that mm -hmm. so if you were sitting with a partner and you were divvying up something you would be one for you one for me type of thing so 10 20 30 40 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100, 10, 120. So now we're out of dimes. So then what do we need to do with these? You have to. Um, I well, I don't think add them to the other one. Or like well, this is, we only have 120 to work, a dollar twenty to work with. And then we're divvying out the dimes like this. But I think we have more than a dollar twenty here, so I'm gonna actually send you back to your group so you're not stuck up here all by yourself doing this. And I want you guys to think about it. You put two right here for each person. Okay. And we got sixty by dividing it. Okay. How did you know? Um, so you did one hundred twenty divided by sixty. How did you get from a dollar twenty to a hundred and twenty? Because it's the same thing when you're dividing. Like. Okay, so when my answer ended up being sixty at the top, how did I end up with a decimal point here? It works. I'm not saying it's wrong. Do you know why? Can anybody explain why that actually worked out? Okay. What would you say, someone from his group, Nicholas? Okay, so you know you're working with money. Is that why? Um, so you know you're working with money, you took the decimal out, and then you put it back in, and you know kind of that's where it goes. Okay, that works. What about if you think about it in terms of pennies? Right? If you had 120 pennies, right, and then you divided it, this would be 60 pennies, which would be 60 cents. That would work too, right? Okay, good job. What my group did is we... we we looked for 120 and then we figured out what way we could put that into money. So we put two quarters and a dime, which equaled 60, but then we did that twice. And then we added those up and then we got um, 120 and then we put the, um, what the, what these two equaled up to. Okay, so you decided to do two quarters and a dime and that equaled 60. How did you know that that was going to work out to 120? Because
because 20, 25 plus 25 and, and 10 equals 60 and 60 plus 60 equals 120. Okay. What my group and I did was split 120 in half. So the first thing we did was half of 20 equals 10 and then we did half of 100 which equals 50 and then we added 50 plus 10 which equals 60 and then 60 plus 60 equals 120. So in that case, each person gets 67. How many of you thought of doing it that way? That was kind of a different way. I didn't have that one in I didn't have that one in my head. So it's funny, her whole table. So half of 20, they did half of the 20 cents, half of the dollar, and then they added those two half together. Good job. We did it the same way Randy's table did. First we had two divided by one dollar and twenty cents. When you said you said two divided by a dollar twenty? One hundred and twenty. Divided by two. Two. Right. So we say this first and then divided by that number. That's all. But other than that, it's really good. I mean, it's really good. So we changed our answer because we had too much to for each of, if you were sharing with two people, well, yeah, if you were sharing with one person, you'd do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60, and then you'd, have, and then you'd both get 60 cents. Okay, so you guys figured out where you made your mistake. Tell me if you notice something familiar about this problem. Together, Marnie and Serena have a dollar twenty. They want to share the money equally. How much money will each girl get? Does this look familiar to you guys? Yeah. Yes, it does. So we already know what our answer is, but let's go ahead and if this was a new problem we were doing on our own, the things that you would want to look at. What do I need to find out? We need to find out who can tell me in their words. What do we need to find out? Okay, so we're going to find out the amount. Go ahead and write with me. Amount each girl gets, right? What information do we need to use? We need the total amount, which was how much? A dollar twenty. And divide it into how many equal parts? Two. two. To represent, who would like to tell me in words? What does the two represent? The two girls. There you go. All right, how will I use this information? I will use coins to model the uh, money, is what you've, we're doing here. Obviously, you didn't do it this way on your um, whiteboards because you don't have any money. I mean, you might have money, but you don't have any cash right now. So let's do this modeling with money. You can make a dollar twenty with four quarters and two what, Ethan? Dimes. I'm asking Ethan because this is how his group did it. They did the actual coins, they split it up. Circle the coins to show the two values, so the two sets. So we had, if we go by Ethan's, this is exactly what their group did. So each girl gets two quarters and one dime, which equals 60 cents. Okay. You can act this out with coins that are not these coins. So using different coins, let's talk about table four. Didn't they kind of use coins to act out theirs? They didn't show the coins, but they showed the dollar, the value of each of the coins. What was the value of each of their coins? Ten cents. So they used what coin? Dimes. Dimes. And so that would be another way. So if we were going to describe another way you could act out the problem with coin, we could say splitting dimes evenly. What would be a third way? Since we've already done dimes and we've already done two quarters and a dime, what could be another way you could split this money um, equally? I'm going to go ahead and let you write your own explanation. And everybody has at least one because we did another one. I kind of talked about it. Okay, Bella. Um, in order to equal 60 cents, I did 40 pennies, two nickels, and one dime. So 40 pennies. Two nickels and one dime. So the one dime is? Ten, ten cents. Ten. Two nickels is another? Ten. Ten. So ten, twenty, plus the forty is sixty. So you could divide, each girl would get forty pennies, two nickels, and one dime. Okay, who did a different way? Lydia. I can use one hundred pennies, and each girl would get fifty, and each girl would get 
Good explanation. So she said each girl would end up with 50 pennies and two nickels. She did a nice good explanation. I'm just writing quick because I can't write it all. Josh, Tom, and Chuck each have 40 cents. How much money do they have together? What do I need to find first? How much they have all together? What information from the question do I need to use? 40 cents each. And how many people are there, class? Two. Three. 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 How will I use this information? Am I going to add, subtract, multiply, divide? What operation am I going to use? Use this information, we're going to do what? Multiply. Multiply. Or we're going to do it over here with a model. Or use model. So while you guys are so advanced and you already know that you're going to multiply them, I'm going to go ahead and draw it out. So one, I'm going to, this is how I would draw 40 cents. There's a 25, which is called what? A quarter. A quarter. There's a 10, which is called a? Sign. And that's 35, so I'm going to do another a 5, which is a? Nickel. Nickel. So that's 40 cents. I could do that three times to make it nice and easy. Or I can challenge you. What's another way? 10, 10, 10, 10. Is that 40 cents? So this is person one. This is person two. And person three has a dime, a dime, a dime, and a nickel, and a nickel. So now I'm going to count how much money I have. This is good money practice. You guys count with me. 25, 35, 40, 50, 60, Which is called a dollar. So we have that it's a dollar twenty with all three of them together and they're forty cents. How can you solve this problem using dimes and nickels? So without the quarter, if I was just using dimes and nickels, show me one way that you can solve that problem. Go ahead and do it on your own. So he said one person gets four dimes and another person had two dimes and four nickels. Okay, and then the third person had eight nickels. And then you just figured it out? Okay, that would for sure work.